So I'm going to create a quick iLogic script to uh, add properties into this drawing. Um, and this can be done in drawings or models or assemblies, um, any type, file type that's an inventor using iLogic. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my iLogic, iLogic uh, uh, browser. And I can, I can use the iLogic uh, tools also within my ribbon, but I like using the browser over here. Uh, in the rules, forms, global forms, and external rules, these are uh, options for adding uh, your different rules. So the rules and forms are embedded within the document that you have. The global forms and external rules are global uh, to all inventors. So everything that you you open up within Inventor uh, will get global forms or external rules. But for this one, I'm just going to embed it into the drawing. Uh, so with this, I'm going to come over here to my my file, hit add rule. With that, uh, it's asking me for a rule name to put in here. I'll put in change I props. Okay. And then it's added, it's brought open a dialog here for uh, creating my, my iLogic scripts. So with this, I have a, a bunch of different snippets over here on the left-hand side. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to come down to my properties, my properties, and I'm going to change the title properties. So when I double-click on this in the snippets area, it automatically puts it into my, my uh, script editor here. So it's saying I properties is a value of this under the summary tab is equal and the title uh, property is equal to, let's say, Dave's drawing title. Once I uh, have that in there, I have the option of just saving the script or I can save it and then also run it at the same time. Let's just go ahead and save it. Hit close. You can see that the, the, I, the uh, iLogic rule has now added into this document. Now I can have a few different options with this. I can run it directly by right-clicking and running rule. I have the edit rule. Here also I can hit edit to go back in and add extra script if I want to. Let's go ahead and hit run rule. And you can see that it has put in Dave's drawing title. Well, of course I spelled it wrong, so let's go back and edit it now. And hit edit rule. Brings back open the dialog. Let's put uh, the correct information in there. Now I'm going to save and run this time, and we'll see it actually change. Save and run, and you can see that it's updated the title there. So we can get uh, as simple or as complex as we want with the iLogic scripts. There's many more snippets in there uh, to add in your iLogic rules.